Breaking news Social Security proposal for $2,400 extra in checks expanded and reintroduced right here into the Congress. We have got latest update as of June 17, 2023. Today, I'm thrilled to do this video because the latest headlines surrounding the much discussed $2,400 social security boost is finally. This topic has been making the waves lately and I have got all the details right here in this video. So guys, without further ado, let's jump right into it and explore what's being said, what's really going on with the social security expansion act and what does it exactly mean for you as a social security beneficiaries and most importantly, how much benefit can you expect to increase? All right, guys. Now, before we start this video, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you like this content and without further ado let's jump right into all the details so the most recent headlines concerning the two thousand four hundred dollar extra social security boost expanded and reintroduced into the congress let's explore what this social security boost exactly means for you as those millions and millions of social security beneficiaries and most importantly what they are actually saying about it if you have been following my channel you know that many reports announcement bills new packages reforms related to the social security seems to be surfacing each and every day that's why it's really important to keep eye on to the latest developments ongoing conversation about reform for the social security because there is an ongoing conversation about reforming social security on a substantial scale all right so let's deep dive into the 2400 dollars social security boost now this proposal has been circulating for several years it suggests a temporary boost of 200 hundred dollars per month for each and every beneficiaries in their monthly checks initially this one has been introduced by few democratic senators into the march 2020 but the latest draft of the bill also provides way forward for a severely unfunded program ensuring that the future generations can receive the benefits through the 2096. As of right now, $200 per month increase into the benefits is suggested. Although this proposal never materialized, it generated tons and tons of excitement, anticipation, and here's the thing. The major drawback was that it would have been short-lived with a $200 boost ending in just a few months. Now, that would have been posed challenging situation for the beneficiaries. However, about a year ago, Senator Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and many other friends, many other lawmakers, they introduced Social Security Expansion Act. And this time, they aim to provide $200 per month increase or $2,400 boost annually to approximately 75 years. Check this out. The latest draft of the bill also provides way forward for the unfunded program ensuring that the future generation can receive the benefits through 2096. Now, this long-term approach got our attention but what's more crucial now it's understanding the current headlines and here is the thing guys in the rush of the bills packages and proposal related to social security reform the predominant concern that has been the major issue is the insolvency concern of the social security one might wonder won't boosting the benefits expedite the insolvency problem and actually this is a real concern it's a valid concern but let's explore the details of the social security expansion act as this act gains a comprehensive understanding but let's explore the details of the social security expansion act to gain comprehensive understanding alongside the benefit increases now this proposal also includes what known as tax hikes and you know what biden loves tax hikes the rationale behind the deal approach is to raise the taxes on higher income individuals and generating additional revenue for social security trust fund so that's how they are trying to solve the issue but the increased tax revenue would then enable to boost the benefits to extend the program's solvency for many more decades. And talking about even more detailed information onto the provisions and parameters of the Social Security Expansion Act, here's what we know so far. Lawmakers on board with raising the taxes and the extent of the tax increase is still being debated but it's clear that their aim is to funnel more tax revenue into the Social Security Trust Fund that's how they are going to save the social security and the extra fund would in turn allow the increased benefits the specifics of the tax increase and the income threshold are still up to the negotiation and additionally we are aware of another likely change that is onto the horizon 
which is the full retirement age they will be going to change they will be probably going to be raising the full retirement age currently the full retirement age is at age 67 for those who born in 1960 or later so it's highly probable that lawmakers will increase the full retirement age to age 70 however guys keep in mind that the negotiations are ongoing and these decisions are subjected to change now if you tie all these changes together with the recent headlines lawmakers are suggesting that they are going to raise the taxes which is already the part of social security expansion act you know that and thereby generating more tax revenue and why not some of those additional funds to boost the social security benefits for individuals who are receiving the smaller fixed income benefits from the social security administration well that's totally possible this is an intriguing proposal that's being discussed furthermore the concessions are being made such as raising the full retirement age these suggestions aim to strike a balance during the negotiation onto the social security reform so lawmakers are considering to raise the full retirement age once again but here is an interesting twist they are also suggesting boosting the benefits for lo lower income beneficiaries and this is the idea stemming from understanding the raising the retirement age that would extend the time before people can access their benefits now consequently as a result fewer people would be eligible to access to their benefits resulting in more money being paid out to the social security trust fund now this potentially surplus amount could be then redirected towards increasing the benefits for those who need it the most second speaking of the long-term solution from the social security expansion act now you may be wondering why not just implement a short-term fix well that's where the social security expansion act comes into the play this proposal is super headed by bernie sanders and he aims to provide a long-term solution rather than a temporary fixes and social security expansion act suggests two thousand four hundred dollar annual boost or two hundred dollars per month benefit increase additionally it includes other measures like raising the taxes adjusting various benefits and ultimately addressing the sustainability of the social security until 2096 so that's why act is gaining a lot of traction into the congress with private meetings between senator bernie sanders and president biden indicating some level of support from president biden itself now here is the reality guys while the social security expansion act has gained tons and tons of attraction tons of attention but the chances of getting it passed in its current form are totally uncertain congress has history of making short-term fixes and compromises rather than implementing comprehensive reforms and social security expansion act exactly tries to do that so it's likely that lawmakers will be going to cherry pick the best provisions out of the social security expansion act and they might introduce some amendment into the social security expansion act in turn you know what rather than a comprehensive fix for the social security they might try to quick fix the social security it's likely that lawmakers will cherry pick the best provision from all these laws from various packages proposals and tie them all together for a higher chance of success now this approach would ensure that reforms benefit the social security as a whole while considering the needs of the beneficiaries as well so there you have it two thousand four hundred dollar boost dissected and explained while the proposal is gaining a lot of traction momentum we can't say for sure the final outcome will be exactly as it is social security expansion act will be amended as always i will be keeping close attention on to all the latest developments all the latest news headlines providing you with all the latest information so guys make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video